up from the basement or down from the attic, Christmas emerges. Where do you want this? Out of boxes. I have a lot of happy memories of that little girl. That little girl, Paula Miller, seven years old, 1963, when she was diagnosed with a blood disease. And only once did she say to me, Mama, when can I go out and play with the other kids? She didn't cry, but I cried. Terry Hack was instructed to care for her oldest daughter like she'd handle a carton of eggs. No bumps, no bruises. Paula spent a year tucked in her room, tutors coming and going, her first communion received in her bed. So I just thought, oh, this will keep her, keep her busy. And that was where the popcorn chains started. We call it the Paula popcorn. Day after day, Paula used a thimble and needle to string hundreds of pop kernels oh. destined for the family Christmas tree. So it was a very special Christmas. It was also Paula's last. Six weeks into the new year, the disease took her life. 50 years. But every Christmas after, the first decorations out of the box have been those popcorn oh, chains. This is my time with Paula. How those fragile kernels have not disintegrated after five decades is a family mystery. Maybe it's the company they keep. Now we start with the angels. When she died, um, you'd explain to your children, your young children, you know, uh, Paula went to heaven. She's an angel now. From that point on, no one has ever had to ask. See what you started, Paula? <laughs> what should I get Terry Hack for Christmas? It's a part of dealing with my grief. This will go up on top of the cabinet there, and maybe I'll put a few up there. And after angels had filled every space on the tree, on her 80th birthday, Terry decorated herself. I have an angel on my shoulder. More angels. <laughs> Laughter bubbles up more easily now, but a mother does not forget. You never get over it, but you just get used to it. In Terry's tree this 50th year, all is calm, all is bright. One more. Mother and child, tender and mild. Terry has found heavenly peace. I like it. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News, Plymouth. Now it's Christmas. <laughs>